ça. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, this is probably the last video of the year. How exciting. Uh, ever since I decided to test out whether or not I could, as an average individual, a mom of four, a human being on this earth, sell photos of my feet on the internet. I get a lot of DMs, obviously some of them a little bit nasty, um, and some of them asking for advice. How do we do this? What do I recommend? And I want to be very clear with all of you, I should by no means be a benchmark um, for success in this field or in life for that matter, just no. But I have learned some things along the way and I'm happy to share them with you all. Um, I have not written anything down. This is straight out of my brain, straight out into the universe. So this could get interesting. So, um, one thing that I have reiterated to all of you more than once is that I don't feel like you have to have any type of feet, any type of body, any type of face. Um, you just need to put yourself out there. I consider my feet to be very average. I consider myself to be pretty average. And I have had success in this field. So anyone can do it. You might think your feet are nothing special. You might think they need work. You might think whatever, but someone out there is going to fall in love with those puppies and just, it's going to mean the world to them. It's literally like falling in love in real life, probably. You might feel like you're not something special and someone else sees something special in you. Apply that philosophy to your feet. My, my main advice to many people is pick a social media you're comfortable with, um, create a new account, and that goes straight down the line. Start with a new email, sign up under a new username, whatever, if you're worried about your friends, your family, or whoever finding out. Personally, I don't think you should be ashamed. Here I am posting videos about this on the internet. I don't think it's the worst thing ever. I mean, these are the precautions you can take where you are putting very little personal information out there about yourself. You don't have to show your face. You don't have to show other parts of your body. You don't even really have to say where you live, maybe the country, but not much else. You can keep things very vague, keep it very neutral, and it's possible to do and kind of still like hide your identity. To be perfectly honest, people probably still don't know that I do this, people in my personal life, um, unless I've talked to them about it because like, hello, it's a YouTube channel, but like, we big famous, but we not like big, big famous, you know what I'm saying? So the next thing I'm gonna say is just like lubricate. Um, I feel like that should go without saying. Is this a real conversation? Don't be afraid to just add whatever you're working with, just add liquid to it. So like just lubricate with anything you got. You got olive oil, pour it on those bad boys. I mean, grill them up, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna look better, a little bit, a little bit saucy. So, lotion, oils, you got shampoo, put it on there. Like, I don't care what you have, just make it happen. Um, grease those puppies up, whatever you gotta do, like, on your foot. It's fine, just make them glisten, make them shine. The next thing I'm gonna say is camera. I take a lot with my phone. That's easiest for me. It quickly gets on to the media it needs to be on. And uh, bada boom, bada bing, you know? But I do get some people who are a little more um, connoisseurs and they want something a little fancier. In which case, if you have a digital camera, I'm gonna show you what I'm working with. You know, here we are here. This is, oh yeah, this is my setup, guys. Oh, those are my teeth. Yep, those are my um, smile directs. But yeah, I'm sitting in front of a window. This is my children's toy. And this is my camera. It's, uh, I don't know, Canon. Canon EOS. And uh, 
gets the job done when the people want the things that are a bit fancier. Also, you know, I've had a few people ask me questions about poses and different things they can do to keep it fresh and whatever for their clientele because in my experience at least you will get repeat buyers so i personally keep a team of um brainstorming humans just at the ready i would be nothing in this world without the creativity of others like i have grown myself on the backs of my ancestors and that is what I recommend all of you do as well. Reach out to your family and friends and ask them poses, concepts, ideas. Get those creative juices flowing. I mean, you don't have to be in this alone. There is a community of support and you might have it within your own, you know, friend group. Right now, that's all the tips and tricks I can think of. <laughs> We're rounding out 2021, just thriving, my friends, just living it up. So thank you for bringing that and thank me for all that I've been bringing. Um, this has been Jossie Potts. Uh, it's, it has been, it, it will be. Okay, I love you all.